All right, this is my Heritage Redfish 12 kayak review and setup. All right, in the front we have the grab handles, very standard, come on the boat. Behind that is the dry hatch, very large. Inside I keep this, bow light, and my rain gear bag. That way, all I gotta do is attach that on, and we're good to go. Behind that, I have my tackle slash cooler bag. Uh, holds all of my pliers and knives in here, all of my hooks and leaders down here, soft plastics and top orders up here. Behind that, we go to the standard rod holder that comes with the, bat, the kayak. Scupper holes. I use the practice golf balls. They're foam. They work really good. I got that idea off of YouTube as well. Behind that is a seat. It comes with a Yak Gear uh, folded seat. And it's very comfortable. But it made it harder to stand up in the kayak. So I went and I got a stadium club chair from Academy Sports and I mounted it in. I could not use the PVC like everybody else does so I had to use two aluminum strips mounted it to the actual kayak with some stainless steel Allen heads. Uh, behind that is the two flush mount rod holders that come with the boat and another small hatch that I do not use so there's no, absolutely nothing in there. Uh, then you have your standard milk crate and I have my two rod holders fastened to the back with just some uh, cable ties and some PVC pipe straps. Uh, this here is my nightlight when I'm doing some fishing at night. It just screws on and screws off. That way I don't have to have it out there every time I go. And I have my bait bucket behind that. Uh, it has the cast net also inside of it to conserve space. If I have bait in it, then I'll just throw the cast net inside of the milk crate. And you have your other uh, grab handle and a drain plug. So far, I haven't had any water in this kayak ever, except for through the scrubber holes when I didn't have the plugs in. The anchor trolley runs from the back of the boat all the way to the front of the boat, which makes a huge difference when you're out there, especially if it's windy, like it has been here lately. I have my cleat right here that I can tie onto, and then I have a carabiner that I can just slip the line in without having to run the line through the, the D-ring and then put the anchor on. So, and then I have a piece of shock cord right here to add for some resistance. And also, I can take that and I can put my stick out pole. Which I built out of one inch. PVC it also has a T on the end so I can also use it as a push pole I put a male and female fitting here that way I can take it apart and put it inside of my truck so it would fit this here is just a standard clamp I use that when I'm fishing bushes or if I'm uh, fishing docks or, or bridges, I just hook that on, run it through the anchor trolley, and I don't have to throw out an anchor, so it makes things a lot easier. Uh, up underneath, I have my kayak dolly. I have it in the front right now because I had to push it over here into the shade so I could take this photos and so I could make this video. Uh, if you have any questions, 
just let me know. Thanks.